What's gonna happen, Blake? You guys think this side's favored? You don't know why they're all over there, huh? Maybe there's a lefty over there and a righty over here. Maybe. <laughs> One thing, guys, is you could... You could go halfway down the line to minimize risk if you wanted to, right? Yeah. So, but then that's almost more risky because you can get caught up too far off the line because it, it's hard to judge when you're in the middle of such a long line, right? 35 seconds. That's definitely not, not going to help if you guys are fighting with each other, slowing each other down. All four boats here want good, open, clean lanes. You guys should be, you guys full speed, you two are late. Go, go, you guys are racing already. 15 seconds. So you guys are late. And pretty far off the line. Not very good line judgment. Just take off from the... Uh, you got uh, current down, pushing you guys down too. You're still all crossing, I think, by a mile here. So, good job, guys. Sheet in a little bit! Sheet in! Sheet in, kangaroo! Sheet in a little bit! Sheet in! There you go, that's better! Blake's pulled four or five boat lengths. Very right nice. Like a, he's another ladder on to weather Oliver because Oliver sailed too far downwind, reaching down the starting line. So that's what I was saying. The, the closer you get to the middle, the harder it is to judge where the line is. Might be uh, leaning your shoulders a little too far back, Blake. Bow is maybe popping a little, barely too high out of the water. Not much. So Liam is this port boat coming across here. It'd be a pretty good idea for him to tack sometime soon. Uh, just to lure uh, these guys, right? Tack to lure to in ahead of people who are crossing you, leading into the next shift. So that when it goes left, you tack back and cross the lake next time. Taking transoms here is not not really a good idea. You can you can tack right now, Liam, and not take any transoms. Okay. Especially at this venue where it oscillates back and forth, you can just cross them when you can. Never take transoms. Um, I wonder what that was. You guys thought the left boat was got a lefty in his tacked and crossing maybe. Bella's crushing it over there. Looks like she did get a lefty in his crossing. Yeah, so I think we're in a left phase right now. So Liam uh, might have just sailed two headers. Because he's on starboard right now in a left phase. And before he was on port when our starboard guys were crossing him in a right phase. So... I think he sailed two, two batteries. I gotta make sure I'm not slowing Blake down here. And Oliver made some big gains on Blake. I think that was uh, the lefty. 
So, probably a stupid time to tech. Still in a hard left phase, I think. Actually, that looked a lot better than I expected. Angle's looking better than I thought, but, so maybe not so dumb. Yeah, Oliver didn't like it. He's saying I'm, I'm taking transoms, taking two transoms if I keep going this way. He's saying, Blake, please tack instead of going past me. So it looks like I think Blake is crossing almost everyone except for the Jake and Bella who are launched. I think that's Jordan maybe is a third place boat out of that side of Blake's probably also ducking. Svenja's hard left at the moment was lifted and pretty good. It's good though not to get hung out to dry on the right corner um, in this situation. So don't don't just stay on port because the guys on port, uh, on the left side of the course, are lifted and crossing you. Stay, stack back on the starboard, get back to the middle of the course, which takes a little bit of risk out of the equation, and then tack to leeward of the group that's crossing you in the lefty, so that you can take it back to the next righty looking good. Grant tacking right there is good for Blake, and that's Jordan ducking Grant, so uh, Blake is hoping that Jordan's gonna tack instead of cross. Good, good move there, I think, by Blake. So Junior maybe would attack to lure of Oliver there, Oliver there instead of taking that boat length and a half duck. Looks like in general, I think there's just more pressure on the left side. The left side of the course is favored here, and Oliver and Blake committed to the right early, and in, it was looking really good for a while, so they're not scared to keep coming back to the right, but it's turning out to be more of a gamble than a guarantee. So Svenja is this boat on port that's just crossing Blake. And she sailed all the way from the left side of the course to the right side of the course, staying on port. I think it might have been better for her to stay in phase with the leaders on the left side, staying in phase with Jake and Bella, um, who were playing every shift over there. There's little small oscillations back and forth here, so you've got to dial into them and play them. And they're very difficult to notice, so your main tool is looking across the race course and, and judging whether or not you're crossing people who you were, were were not crossing before, right? So if you see you're crossing someone on the left side who you weren't crossing before, it's a good idea to be on starboard. If the person on the left side's crossing you and before you were ahead, you want to be on port. And you can play the shifts that way. And, I mean, a little cheat code is usually the person who's 20 boat lengths launched out ahead of the fleet is probably more dialed into the breeze than anyone else because that's how they got there. And they're also going to get the shifts first before everybody else. So if that boat's smart, it's a good idea to watch them and see what they do. So Bella's thinking that we're in a left phase right now in port tax favored. Looks like a smart move on her part either way. Because she's in the middle of the course now, really covering the whole fleet. She split from Jake and let Jake get way to the left of her, which that's kind of risky, but it looks good at the moment. I think it's time for her to attack right now. Yeah. It... It's attack and cover, play the fleet. Take away their leverage. Make them follow you. So we got Junior and Oliver and Liam praying for a righty over here. The one thing that's good is they're not getting pinballed around by a fleet because they're totally by themselves, so they can just kind of focus on hopefully letting their boat speed win the race for them. 
that might have actually been why Bella stayed on port for longer than we would have expected. Maybe she was getting nervous about Junior over here getting a good righty and, and coming in strong at the top mark, which uh, actually looks like might be happening. I think he's still behind Bella, but he's looking good on the fleet. Yeah, it looks like they're... Feels like the wind just picked up a little bit. We might be in a right phase now. Junior and Oliver might be looking good. It's always kind of hard to tell it with the coach boat perspective. So what's interesting here is Bella's actually been on the opposite tack as the rest of the fleet behind her for a lot of this beat. And she's been extending, so that would suggest that that middle pack of boats is kind of all following each other, staying in phase with each other, but not necessarily in phase with the wind, maybe. That was not a good tack, Liam. The junior here... I don't think he started this race doing very well. I think he was behind Blake and Oliver. Blake's now sitting directly in Oliver's bed. I have no idea what you're doing there. Blake, you're, you're, you couldn't be any more in Oliver's bad air than you are right now, and you're just sitting there. You got that old slow sail on top of it. Mark set up already, uh, Manny. We were just talking with Julian about uh, finishing the race. I'm here. What do you think? Yeah, I don't think they're gonna gain too much by going downwind all the way anyway. No, so we finish it here in the upwind mark. So right and left are coming together here. Um, I don't, so I, it seems like Bella and Jake, I think, played the left side of the course better. I don't really know if the left side of the course was actually better. Um, I think they just played it better. They hit every shift, or I think the guys on the right were, were missing shifts. It's easier to miss shifts when there's less people on your side of the course because there's less controls to measure your science experiment relative to, right? To measure the race relative to. But the, the, the leaders out of the right are tying for third with the leaders out of the left. Just Bella and Jake were launched. And that's typical here in Marina Del Rey. It doesn't always matter which side you go to. It matters how well you play that side, right? You can go there to the favorite side of the race course and stay on the headed tack the whole time and get destroyed by someone who goes to the slightly less favored side of the race course but plays every shift and stays lifted the entire time. So really good fleet management by Bella. She's kind of letting the fleet tell her where to go. Jake tacked away and he's looking like the second place boat at the moment, so tack and cover. And that's also taking her back to the middle of the course. She's consistently tacking and covering the second pack of boats and also taking it back to the middle of the race course, giving her options and taking away leverage. 